we're gonna what see. Are we gonna see? <laughs> we're gonna see what we can catch. See a lot of fish. Yeah, are we hopefully. See this dog. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, it could be good, it could be good, Randy. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is gonna be a fun one today. We are hitting some exclusive ponds. We're gonna be doing some bank fishing today, that is right. We have a little bit of a drive ahead of us, but when we get to this place, it is private. Not many people have fished this stuff, and I bet you the fish are gonna be eager to bite. It should be, it should be a slave fest. We're gonna go for some big ones today, you guys stay tuned. All right y'all, we are here. And we got a special guest on today's vlog, man. I gotta introduce you to her. She's gonna be showing us all around the property. It's gonna be fun. The first pond looks super juicy. So today we are out fishing with Ren, ladies and gentlemen. Hello! She is gonna be showing us all the spots around here in the neighborhood. We're gonna have a fun old time. And uh, yeah, we're just setting up some spinning gear right now. We are going to toss in here. The water clarity looks good. The, uh, what time is it? It's only 8.13 in the morning, man. We got tons of time to get on a good bite, and she says they're stacked in here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah. No way. Yeah, this is the biggest one I caught. Is it out of this place? Yeah. Ren just caught the first one of the day, y'all, and this one's probably almost three pounds. Yep, it's gonna be tricky. You want me to? Yeah, sure. Let's see what we got. There we go. Here. You wanna hold on to yo, fishy? Yep. And I'll get a little video. Oh my goodness, hold on tight, hold on tight. That came out of nowhere, huh? Yo, check us out. Ren is on in like the first 20 minutes over here. We're just throwing the lunker logs and she catches like a three pounder right off the bat. We had to break out the scale, man. We're going to see what this fish weighs. It's looking pretty good. Is this, so you said this is the biggest one you've caught out of here, huh? Probably. Probably. This just goes on his lip. Now you can let him go and you hold the scale. Let's see what he weighs. That's not right. <laughs> nope. That's not right. <laughs> there we go. That's right. <laughs> it was a little off. <laughs> 3.02, so just over three pounds. Heck yes. <laughs> Congrats. She beat us to the punch, man. She got the first fish, so I'm going to have to try and get something bigger than three pounds now. That's going to be pretty tough. You want to get the release on this little guy? Sure. Okay. Little? Well, <laughs> you want to get the release on this big sucker? Bye, bud. <laughs> yeah. Let's try and do that again. So that's what you caught them on. The Nico rig, they call it. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, they're all over. Oh, it's feeding time. <laughs> so mine is falling slower than yours because I don't have any weight. So mine is like really falling slow and I got to be very patient. No way. Oh, I thought you had one too. I kind of do too because whenever you whenever you first raise the rod, I saw a little like doot doot with the, yeah. with the rod tip. So that's like them shaking. Only time I reel is when I'm bringing the rod down. But you're bringing it in actually with the rod. Okay. You're actually bringing it in by popping it, yep. And either way, it doesn't matter because you're catching them regardless, so. <laughs> you don't need me. <laughs> so sometimes you switch things up, like, like whatever was over there, those fish that were kind of coming up to the surface, they weren't eating whatever's on the surface because there's nothing up here, but they were probably, there's some minnows close to, closer to the surface and they're coming up and eating them. And so that means they might be actively feeding, roaming around. So what I've got on now, um, it's kind of like imitates like a crawfish swimming and they'll come up and they'll hit this thing on the move so sometimes you just vary things up and see if they want to uh, go after something that's moving and this is just a constant reel or something that's on the bottom yep there's days like that you know what I mean like if I have a bad day of fishing there we go if I have a bad day of fishing <laughs> uh, Ren mine's not quite your size <laughs> that's still good. this is still good if I get another one on this one before you get one on the worm then I'll put one of these on yours. That way you can try something different. So, what was I saying if I'm not catching them? <laughs> My first one of the day, you guys, uh, that's a young buck right there, but at least we found something at the lead. This is the chatterbait with a crack and crawl on the back if you guys want to try that out at home. I'm going to get him back in the water. We're going for something bigger, guys. We'll see you, bud. Little show for y'all. Right here? A little further, right there where it's, yeah, right, slide that ring up to where there's no texture. That's good. And now, so put that weight and the nose. Doesn't have to be perfect. And it can't be a challenge. <laughs> Remember it's like that because the weight is up here. So this is kind of like the nose. Yeah. And so whenever you're creeping it along, the hook's not gonna catch all the grass. Boom. Okay. Here it's probably, you know, between less than a foot and a couple feet. And out there, I don't know, it could be, could be 15 or 20, but it might only be seven or eight. 
chances are they're going to be hanging down in the grass at the bottom if they're if they're on the move though they could just be roaming about they call that like the water column they could be higher in the water column that's why you mix things up so she's covering the bottom and then i'm covering kind of like the mid-range because maybe they're on the move and they're kind of hunting and maybe they're down low early in the morning there's a good chance that either one's going to work and then as the day progresses in summertime and it's very hot and the water temperature is hotter than uh like the spring and whatnot what you got yeah. maybe you think so so real but now when you when oh you do yeah. so when you oh he got off no he didn't oh yeah he, did. he flopped off <laughs> no okay so can i tell you can i tell you what yeah. happened yeah whenever you bring it up and you lower the rod tip now there's going to be slack okay. okay you have to keep it really tight otherwise that when they shake they'll they'll get rid of the hook so you have to keep it really tight and don't give them slack if they get a little slack that's when they can shake it yep i'm doing something wrong because I'm not catching them. That was almost fish number two for Wren. It came up with a little slack in the line and just flopped off. But she's doing something that I'm not. Keep reeling. Got one? Yeah, reel, 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 reel. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh no, it broke off. That was probably a big one. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something different. You keep getting all the fish. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the light line. We're just gonna give you the heavy stuff so you won't break off anymore. That one was decent. I yeah, think that, I think that was a good one too. Yeah. Don't worry, you're on them, you're gonna get more. This water's not extremely clear, and the braid that I have for the main line is like a moss green, so I'm just gonna get rid of this lighter line leader that we have on here, and we're just gonna tie her next worm straight to the braid. That way she's not breaking off on these fish because I think that was a good one. We both agree. We're missing good quality fish out here. All right, let's go try the tree, I guess, huh? Yeah. Let's see what's up. Oh, I thought you had a fish. <laughs> you do? No way. You really do. God dang, you're on him. That's another good one. That's another good one, Ren. <laughs> oh my, no. oh no. That was a good one. I'm gonna kiss that one. Okay, do it. Here, here, let me get you quick. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, that was a good gotta, one. You gotta do it. No, yes. no, nope. Do what? You gotta catch it. No. You haven't caught one yet. I mean, I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> I know, but I'm gonna get a good one, trust me. Holy smokes, you're tearing them up. <laughs> Sometimes whenever one bites, it stirs the rest of them up and they get fired up. I'll try and get them too. Dan, they must like that color. I'm using a different color than you are. I need to switch. Oh. Got one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Finally, I start catching them. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> Another little guy. I'm losing right now like in the competition. <laughs> he might not even be a pound. There's number two for me. I'm still trying to catch up on the size. There he goes. Shoo! Well, I think we found him. Well, Ren found him. I was about to move and she like got that good big bite and then I decided I'm gonna cast over here. Yeah, let's hang out in, right here for a minute. Yeah, anytime there's a little bit of grass, even if it's just a little bit, it's best to just get it all the way off because it'll affect like how the hook might get the fish next time. Oh, just had a bite. Dang. Right under the tree. So like right Sometimes they hit right away. Because like right when you had that one over here that came off, yeah. it hit right away, I thought. Yeah. And, and the big one I caught. I just, just oh, yeah. casted it and I was talking and then all of a sudden. <laughs> right Ooh, this something. looks pretty good. You want to go left or right? Good though. I think this is a good spot. Oh, there we go. Yep. Finally, a, a one that's a little bit bigger. <laughs> not super big, not as big as yours, but <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> really? Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Would you say that's the biggest bass you ever caught this morning, or maybe not? Uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Dang. It's going to be awesome. Y'all yeah. check us out. We're tearing them up on the lunker logs. Ren's throwing the Nico rig. She just got a three pounder out here. <laughs> Let's get him. Oh, no way. No. Oh, I thought we were going to have a double up where we both have a fish. Oh, Ren just got a bite, y'all. This might be a good little pocket right here. We'll see you, buddy. Thanks for playing. That's like that's like fish number four for us or something. Because you got, you got the one big one so far, right? But you've missed like four other ones. You've been getting unlucky. <laughs> you, yours weighed probably more than all three of mine. <laughs> all right, y'all. They're tearing up the lunker logs. We got to get back in here. I'm throwing that uh, black red flake, and she's got watermelon red flake. So, holy smokes. 
Do I have a turtle? Oh, I have somebody's fishing line. I'm like, what is going on over here? <laughs> we'll see who's gonna get him. <laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> oh gosh, there we go. They're all the same size, every single one I'm catching. Oh gosh, see you buddy. I kind of did too for a second. I was like, oh no. <laughs> You got him? No way. I think you have him. Yep, just keep reeling. Don't. Oh, oh my gosh. It could be good. It could be good, Rand. Oh, no way. <laughs> Don't let him get away now. This could be a good one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Second biggest fish of the day. After she already caught her biggest fish ever out of this pond. That is so crazy. <laughs> We're gonna show Ren how to use a bait caster today. It's gonna be a bunch of fun. Okay, so I can cast it. Get ready, stop. Nice, yep. So let's that try that again. Really no, it's like, not. That's super hard. I don't know how to do it. Well, just wait. You'll just wait. <laughs> so try one again. Try and get more distance. <laughs> Ren's first backlash. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. <laughs> they're acting like breakfast time's over, but I know they're here. <laughs> I know they're still hungry. All right, y'all, we're loading up. And we're going heading over to the golf course spot. All right, y'all, we have just rolled up to spot number two. We are hitting the golf course. Ren did a little whoop, swap into the Under Armour. I tossed a little hat on, and we are feeling pretty good. By the way, the reason I'm, I'm fishing with Ren today <laughs> is actually, how, how did we how did we meet? Um. I've been working for her pops for like the last 10 years. He actually is the vice president of the valet company I work for. And he was like, Weston, come fishing with Ren. And I was like, deal. <laughs> and now she's showing me up and catching all the big fish, man. So we're going to actually strap her up with a GoPro. And this is going to be her first time filming since, since she's catching all the big fish. And we're going to see if we can't uh, get a few more catches for you guys. Let's get into it. Okay, we can try right here. Yep. Oh, got one. There we go. Yeah. Chatterbait pulling through. You want to use the chatterbait? Yeah, okay. All right. Sweet. Nice. Oh, I lost my... Oh, no. I lost my fish. <laughs> He's going to flop back into the water. No, get it. <laughs> Y'all, he almost got away from us. Holy smokes, but we got him. <laughs> got him in and we didn't lose him. The chatterbait pulling through, man. We're going to get him back in the water. That was only like five minutes here, Ren. Yeah, We're kicking butt. I'm going to let her throw the chatterbait and see if we can't get another couple for you guys. Let's go. That was a good fish. Yeah, that was awesome. That was pretty decent. So we're gonna go over to a different spot, but at the same pond. We're gonna what are we see. Gonna see? <laughs> we're gonna see what we can catch. See a lot of fish. Yeah, are we hopefully. See this dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. They weren't hitting here quite the same like at the home ponds. I think we're gonna. We'll see you guys back over at the other ponds. All right, that'll do it, folks. We'll catch you for the wrap up here in a second. All right, y'all, thanks for joining Ren and I and hitting the ponds today. We had a ton of fun. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and... See you next time! <laughs>